Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. What a gorgeous day in San Francisco Bay. It's uh, late February and uh, we are scouting for elephants. Today there's gonna be a lot of my friends out here and uh, we have Tui fishing 24 7 on my old Revo 13. That's his boat now. So, but I can't believe he removed the Moon Outdoor sticker. <sighs> Anyhow, I have an airplane. I hit the airplane around here. So, there has been some rumors that a uh, halibut was being caught in San Francisco Bay. So, we decided to come out and check it out. Because really nothing else to do. Herring run is pretty much over. Um, dino fishing has been slow, so why not? And believe it or not, today is the first day I'm back on the saddle on a kayak. Can you believe that? Uh, I miss this so much. So late February, uh, still really, really early in the season, so. You know, not much of expectation. We're just on the water having a good time. So if you are new to halibut fishing, um, I have a halibut rigging video. Um, I'll leave the link in description. And today for bait, I'm using a sex herring. I really had a trouble uh, catching sex herring this year. I think I probably tried like four or five times and I only caught like a couple dozen. However, Joby was kind enough to donate about a bucket. So I might have enough bait for myself this year but might not and for the raw i'm using my workhorse shimano traveler seven foot medium light and my uh, newer workhorse um peace spot alley hose um, i have a review video on the rod and the wheel so check it out if you are in the market for a rod or wheel i also have a 80 percent peace spot uh, discount code uh, in the description as well i'm just gonna slowly Drop down the weight and the bait while I'm moving forward. And uh, for halibut fishing, I like to troll slow. I like to stay between uh, 1.5 to 2 miles per hour. Um, and uh, when I'm drifting, I like to drift about 1 miles per hour. So I make sure I am on the bottom, my weight is on the bottom, uh, just bouncing as I'm trolling. And just paddle slow. So I get asked this question a lot. How do you find halibut? How do you know where they are? How to locate them? Since I'm in the bay, let me share how I find them in the bay first and then I'll move on to uh, when you are out in the ocean. So in the bay, as you know, halibut start migrating in late winter to early spring and to spawn and or sometimes just chase bay fish. So the bay is like the uh, estuary. Uh, this is where they spawn. They also spawn out in the ocean but uh, great number of halibut spawn in the bay and uh, the baby bus, little bus, little halibut so actually they live in the bay until they get big enough and they migrate back to the ocean so locating halibut is so much easier when you have a fish finder uh, or depth finder um, and also if you have navionics I don't have navionics but uh, those of you who does not have navionics can also use an app on your phone uh, to see the contour of the, of the floor of the uh, Bay. So the bay is mostly flat, but there are some deeper holes, uh, like you know, shipping channel. Uh, so every everywhere else could be like you know, 20 feet, and uh, when you get to shipping channel, it gets to like you know, 50, 60 feet deep. And also, if you have a GPS, I don't have maybe on this, but I have a, a GPS on my fish finder, so it really helps uh, to mark a waypoint when you catch a halibut. In some area you're gonna see a deep hole or you know in some areas you're gonna have a deep shipping channel. A uh, halibut could be on the uh, on the top of the ledge or actually on the bottom of the hole. But for me, um, I have more luck on the top of the ledge and 
this is my assumption, uh, but I think more halibut started hanging up, hanging around on the top because if you have a flat surface and you have a little uh, deep hole, if it, there's a big bait balls, they like to stay in the deep hole. But obviously, there's more cubic area where they can, you know, uh, hang around. And as the bait balls leave the hole. Uh, it kind of acts as a bottleneck, you know, help us to ambush predators. So they hide, and then when they see something swinging by, they they go attack. And other than the uh, contour change in the bay, there's no other covers um, or structures. So contour is a is really your best bet. Sometimes, I mean, everywhere is flat, but you get bit. So you just have to put in a lot of time to it and if you have a fish finder with the GPS or you could, use, you could do this on your phone as well, it just mark where you catch the halibut. And after a couple of years, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a grouping. You're gonna have you know, a bunch of waypoints at this area, a bunch of waypoints at that area. Now that I have a few different areas with a bunch of waypoints, so I just hit that area and if I don't get bit, I go to the next area. And also when you're on the water, uh, look for the bait ball, like any other fish, you know. Where there is a bait ball, uh, most likely there is a fish uh, waiting for it underneath. And a lot of times, uh, you see the bait ball being disturbed. Three -year -check, three -year -check. So definitely a sign of some kind of fish. It could be a striper, it could be a shark, it could be a halibut. But when you see the disturbance on the bait ball, uh, that's a really good sign. And uh, sometimes when I see the bait ball, I like to circle around that area for a little bit before I move on to the next uh, GPS point, waypoints. Especially if the bait ball is being disturbed, then I stay around that area a little bit longer. And out in the ocean, um, you have to look for some structure, either rocks or reef. So if you have a sandy area here, if you have a structure here, halibut is gonna hang around right a sandy area right next to the structures because reason being is uh, on the sandy area there is not too many bait, bait balls hanging out because there's no food for bait balls in the reefs there's plankton and there's so much life in it halibut likes to hang out obviously mostly most of the time in the sand hide themselves in the sand but they're going to be right next to the structure so when the bait ball moves into the sand they will just ambush it so and ocean can be also ocean can also be estuary uh, for halibut uh, they come from the deep water i don't know how deep i don't know exactly where they go uh, during off season but they come in to uh, spawn uh, to a shallow area you usually find a lot of halibut in below 50 feet of water uh, so they some of them they come in to the shallow they spawn and they move out and it seems like the ocean halibut it seems like those halibut spot in the in the ocean uh, they like to come in a little bit late uh, maybe late spring to uh, early summer and then they do their thing they spawn and they stay a little bit longer uh, and then they move out there's going to be residential halibut in the shallow water and also in the bay as well so halibut, some halibuts are always around in the bay um, all year round uh, but, but the majority of them, they, they migrate so sometimes you see people catching halibut in November, December, January uh, inside the bay or even out in the ocean but those are most likely the, you know, the few residential uh, fish and, but a majority of them, you know, they migrate from the deeper water, deeper ocean. Halibut too is like to screw around like most of the other fish. So if you find one halibut, most likely there are more halibuts in the area. So if you see somebody catch a halibut at one spot, circle around uh, that area. And one more thing to add is that uh, sometimes halibut like to stay in certain depth some days you'll notice you know, all the halibuts are being caught at 20 feet um, and some days you'll notice all the halibuts are people are catching all, the, all their halibut at 17 feet so I'm not sure exactly sure what's going on but some days they just like to stay in certain depth of water so if somebody catches a halibut at 20 feet of water it's not a bad idea to uh, just circle around at 20 feet of water two hours later
five minutes later. A huge halibut, guys. Oh, 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 Close? Yeah. Close? Yeah. 36. 36? Yeah. Awesome. Press, says 36. 36 inches. In the back? Yeah. Okay. Did you work it? Oh, I have nothing to do. Oh. You have your gap. Did you bleed it? No, not yet. Awesome, awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Goodness. Hold on, hold on, let me get the other side. Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. That's a nice one. Oh, uh, it's to the new bucking. Let me give you the crown. Here, <laughs> <Yeah>. no, <laughs> new bucking. I, I don't want it. <laughs> the new bucking. Last year, Bucking has been dethroned. <laughs> we have the new Bucking here. In February, he gets this 36 incher. Nice. Oh, it's nice. fat. Thick. It's heavy, yes. So thick. Thick. Thick meat. Yeah. Woo! First time halibut fish <laughs> from a kayak. Oh, uh, and he catches this. <laughs> lucky uh, charm. You are lucky charm, Moo. Right here. <laughs> I should never <laughs> sold my kayak to him. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> He's catching all my fish. <laughs> all my big link cuts. Hey, my baby now. <laughs> all my big halibuts. Nope. He's catching them. My baby now. <laughs> He's my baby. Oh man. Congratulations to him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Chubby's going to be very jealous. Oh, thank you. All oh, right. Wow. Look at the duck. Uh, Bloody mess. Yeah. I love it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> I'm desperate now. Ah, uh, too young. I'm desperate. Hey, go around here, move. One yeah. here, then more here. Man, I'm so happy for Tui. Um, so I'll leave his Tui's video in the description um, so you guys can check it out. I'm pretty sure it was an awesome fight. Woo. So get on the water, go catch some halibut. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.